What's up crafters? In this episode we're going to be starting off our journey on making a Halo Reach Spartan suit. We're going to be going from start to finish on all the different armor parts throughout the series. Today we'll be taking a look at how to make a Halo Reach hand plate. No painting, just the raw construction itself. And if that's something you're interested in, if you've ever wanted your own suit of Halo armor, or perhaps you're just really curious to see how it's made, go ahead and continue watching because we're going to talk about it now. Okay, just a quick overview of the tools we'll be using in this video. We've got a heat gun we'll be using to heat seal the foam. We've got a Dremel for beveling and smoothing edges. We've got two craft knives for cutting out our foam. We've got one black one for the majority of our cuts and an orange one that we won't be using in this video, but that's for cutting out really small details that always need a super sharp blade. We've got a Sharpie for marking our templates down on our foam. We've got a ruler just for cutting straight edges and helping hold down foam pieces that are really small with our heat gun. We've got a free template cut printed and cut out onto paper. And we've got a barge, just some barge contact cement we'll be using to glue it all together. As a special treat, we'll also be using shoe goo at the very end of this video to make our part indestructible. So definitely continue watching to the end to see how that works. I'll provide links to all of this stuff that I use in the description. The link for the template may be changing after the video is uploaded, but more or less it should be available. All right, first things first, all we're gonna do is trace our templates onto the foam using a Sharpie. So let's just go ahead and draw this down. Fast forward. Okay, there we go. We've got our templates traced out. Now we've got an important note here. We've got two different kinds of cuts we're going to need to be doing on here. We've got what I call straight cuts and what I call snubbed bevel cuts. Now a straight cut is when you're just cutting straight, straight up and down. How do I get this straight? Yeah, straight, you're just gonna be cutting straight up and down on the foam. A bevel cut is when you cut at, at just at an angle and is you just gonna, you just cut the foam at the at an angle a snubbed bevel cut is when you cut the foam at an angle and then you also cut off the tip of whatever triangle shape that makes so you end up with a like a, a slope and then a and then a flat fall off bit if that makes sense okay so if we look at this glove we need to make our snubbed bevel cuts all the way around this edge all and all the way around this edge and all the way around this edge as well. So that, that's where we're going to be doing that. Our straight cuts are going to be all of this stuff in here, all of these edges, all of the inside of this box and, and along the back here when we connect the triangle bit to give it this height. Now your templates may have dotted lines on it. I got printed mine without the dotted lines, but I'm just gonna add those in myself right now. So I'm just gonna add in dotted line right there. Okay, that should be it. So where there's a dotted line, we're gonna be cutting into the foam at an angle, and then we'll be also doing a straight cut on the outside edge. <clears throat> to snub it. So let me show you. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to hold my blade at an angle, and I'm just going to cut along this dotted line. Just like that. And then I'm going to make straight cuts along all of these other lines. Now 
There we go, there's one part. And I'm gonna bevel along here. Okay, there we go. We've got the whole hand plate cut out now. Now we're just going to take our Dremel, lightly Dremel all of the edges with a high grit sandpaper. This is 320, although I prefer to use 600. However, I couldn't seem to find where my 600 was in time for this video. So I'm just going to suck it up and deal with it. But yeah, I'm just going to go over all of this. Let's go. Actually, it occurs to me this was supposed to be beveled as well. So I am going to mark that. And I'm just going to slice it off with my super sharp blade. Okay, that didn't cut very well, so we're gonna clean that up with the Dremel, but that's okay. Actually, before I finish Dremeling this one down, we actually want to shorten the height of this square just by a smidge. So all I'm gonna do so I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this on the top. There we go. And that's just because on our glove, this top is a little indented. And so we just need to shorten it. Okay, now all of our parts are dremeled. Now that we've got the whole thing dremeled, we're gonna want to hit it with our heat gun to seal the foam and make sure it's ready to receive our barge and what other, whatever else we need to do in order to paint it. So I'm just gonna do these one at a time because I don't want the air blowing, it, blowing any of them away. And I'm just gonna use my ruler to hold it down. As I was heating that, you, I think you saw the little square just bolted and ran off. I can't find it. It is lost to the void. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut out a, another square using the template from here, which is also turns out to work out okay because, as it turns out, I actually forgot that we need to cut out a small little rectangle or something just to fill in this space right here. And so we're just going to cut that out too. Here we go, does this fit? That doesn't even fit a little bit. Okay, that's totally off. Let's try that again. There we go, that works and we've got our little indent. It's pretty kind of subtle. Maybe I could make it deeper, but we'll just sand it down. But before we get too far on that, I want to cut out that little rectangle. That rectangle is going to be 
same size as this. So let's see here. If we put these together, and we have this, if we have this in here, and one of these things comes in, you can see that it needs to be the same height as the height of this bit. So let's just cut it to the width. Let's just mark this width. And then we'll mark this height. All right, I think this will work good enough. We just gotta sand these, trim all these down. There we go. All right, that should be good. Let's heat seal it. And then we'll barge everything together. Before we barge all of this together, I'm going to put on my organic vapor respirator. So make sure you have one of those or very good ventilation. All right. So then basically, we're just going to glue all or put barge on all of these edges. And then we'll wait for it to cure and we'll just stick them together. So let's just fast forward through that. Okay, now I believe I've got barge on everything. We're just gonna let that sit for around 10 minutes until it stops being wet and tacky. So we need it to be dry. And then we're gonna put it all together. Okay, so we gave this some time to dry. Now we're just going to assemble all of these parts together. Now, one thing I wanna note is that if you really look, use this one. If you really look at this glove, you can see that the middle section is raised just a little bit above the sides. So we're gonna to have to make sure that we pay attention to that. So let's go ahead and put these on. So I'm just gonna make sure to give this like a, about a one millimeter lead or a one millimeter headroom just to make sure that I retain that gap. I like to get my face real close to the foam. There we go. Got just a little bit of an edge. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Same thing with this side. There we go. Let's just put that together. Let's put this smaller piece in. Now this piece is about, sits about halfway down, so we're only gonna get put it halfway in. So. There we go, just like that. Just leave a little bit of room in there as a gap. Now we're going to put this bottom piece on. We're just going to line the top, the top up with the top of the snubbed edge we created. All right, there we go. Now we gotta put, let's put this onto the, let's put this little rectangle on here. Just line that up as best as you can. 
Alrighty. Now we're going to line this piece up. And it's going to be a little bit of a gap right there. That's okay. Okay, now because these are a little asymmetrical, we have a little bit too much foam on this side. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of that off, just a little bit. Then we're going to take this last piece and we're going to line that up on here as well. Oh, I see what happened. We forgot to barge the underside here. So we're going to have to go ahead and barge that real quick. I believe I've got barge on everything. We're just going to let that sit for around 10 minutes. Until it stops. Alrighty, I've given this barge some time to dry. So now we're just going to go ahead and reline these up like we were planning to last time. So we're just going to... Okay, my bad. I accidentally was not recording when I put this back together. But all I did was I just clipped off a little excess foam that was on these edges. A little, I just clipped off a little extra excess foam right here. And then I drilled down into these. I'm going to use the footage I, I grabbed when I was making this hand plate to show you how to drill these holes. But just know I'm, it's a different hand plate. I'm going to get a Dremel bit that's just raised a little bit off of the edge. We're just going to drum all this down and up to this silver line that I drew on there with a Sharpie and pull it back up. If you want to see, see more about this process and why there's a silver line on there, go ahead and check out my video on how I add magnetically mount props onto my costume. So we're just going to drum all this down, make a hole. That's it. Now with this one, because the hole is so small, I'm actually going to switch over to a smaller, a smaller bit. And I'm just going to use that to move around and clear that out. Just like we do in the magnet video. So let me just swap this out. There you go, that's how you drill those holes in. Real easy. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna show you guys the last step here, the secret sauce to making indestructible foam parts and props, and that is shoe goo. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of this on the inside of our hand plate, and that'll make it virtually indestructible and you should never have to do any repairs. You're gonna want some gloves and your respirator. Make sure you make sure you put that respirator on. And we're just gonna take some shoe goo. We're just gonna goo up the inside of these seams. And we're just gonna take our glove finger and just rub it in. Make sure it's in there in all the cracks and crevices. Rub it in. This will naturally smooth over time using gravity and it'll look something more like this, which I, was one I made earlier today. And that's all there is to it. You just let that sit for 24 hours and it'll be super strong. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful showing you how to start your Halo Spartan cosplay. The hand plate is one of the easier parts of the costume to build, so hopefully it wasn't too complicated or intimidating. If you had any issues throughout this video, 
while you, if you were building along or if you just don't understand what I was saying, please let me know in a comment down below. Or if there's a certain piece of armor or prop you'd like me to, to make in the future, also leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys are interested in. Our final product here looks something like this. This is clearly not painted or finished or anything like the one that I'm wearing is. If you are interested in seeing how something like this can get finished, go ahead and watch my videos on pre-sealing and sealing. Uh, I'll also be coming out with a prop painting tutorial soon, but that's more for props like my DMR. At the end of this series, after the whole suit is constructed, I plan on doing a whole new series on painting and weathering, specifically for large foam armor props. But that's enough for me today. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.